This month she marked her birthday. Can we give a round of applause? And she has the word from the Lord for us. Praise the Lord. I want you to listen. I want you to listen. Open your heart. When you open your heart and what comes, you will be blessed. Okay? When you open your heart and what comes, you will be what? Yes. But if you are sleeping in the church and you are not paying attention, the word for you will come and pass. May that not be your portion in Jesus' name. Yes. With a round of applause. Let's bring to the room our own mommy. Pastor. Great. But devil cannot 
plant it. But rather you will give way. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says, any Christian that will not allow the Israelites to go must drown in the Red Sea. Whether he likes it or not, he must drown in the Red Sea. And the children of Israel will go on the dry land. In the Red Sea, they went on the dry land. And when the Egyptians were trying to pursue them, what happened? They tried the rest, the same place that the Egyptians passed, the Israelites passed on the dry land. They tried. Any demon, principalities, and power that would not allow Africa to go to their promised land. This is not our promised land. Though. This one is just a kitchen. I know from the kitchen the food is passed to the parlor. Is it not so? That's what? This one is the kitchen. We are not starting. This one is the kitchen. Any Egyptian that will not allow the Israelite to go must turn the rest. This morning I want us to stand on our word. I am going to pray. Everyone that is uh, attacking Africa. That Africa will not go to their promised land, must drown in the Red Sea. Anyone that will not allow God's will to live to our own age must drown in the Red Sea. Put your name right there. Hallelujah. Let's start to appeal to our sisters and stand on your feet. Pray like a wounded lion. Right now, begin to pray. Ask the Lord. Any teacher that will not allow the Israelites to go to the Red Sea. Any teacher that will not allow God's feet to eat the fruit of our labor. Any teacher that will not allow God's feet to possess our possession. The Bible says, if I grab the deliverance, I shall possess your possession. Just begin to pray. Ask the Lord. Any teacher that will not allow you to get your hands, let it turn in the Red Sea.
That is divine what? Me also am a living proof of divine evidence. I could have been forgotten long, long ago. But God said, no, it's not yet time. They try their best, and God puts all to naught. And today, I'm glad to be alive. Hallelujah. Yeah. I want us to see from the word of God those people who have divine evidence. There are good evidence and there is evil evidence. But let's follow the good one that we might live and that we might have long life. God said to the people, choose this day whom you will serve. Choose whom you will serve, either God or the devil. But I want you to choose God. Serve God for who he is. Whether you serve God, you don't serve God. God is still God. True or false? True. So it's better you serve God. Because he is the creator of the heaven and the earth. It's a life forever. Does it die? God not the die you. God not the die. God made us to be for slumber. Serve God for who he is. That he will prove to the world that you are his own in your life. He will prove to the world in your life that you are his own. There is nobody that serves God and go empty. When you serve God, you must have a divine, you have good evidence. This is serving God. Like the song they said, they said, Jesus was the first man in the forest. It was not easy for Chetak, Meshach, and Abednego in the book of Daniel chapter 3. They were thrown into the fire, and before them, they called them to prove their, 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 their need of serving God. Why they should serve God? Why are they serving God without going back or looking back and saying no? The king made an image that everybody should bow down at the throne of the music. But these three Hebrew boys, three Hebrew men, three Hebrew wise men said no. How will we serve the one that we know this hand and leave the one that I told you and know this image, give you wisdom to know the image? It's better we serve the one that knows you and give you wisdom to know this image. You serve the creator. They said, No, you must serve this moody image. That's my God, we have images in our heart. Whether the pastor preached from Genesis to Revelation, that's the one we think that you will do. It's not going to change, it's not to change. They forced the king to sign the decree, the king signed it. I'm king now. So that, I will say king talk, everybody will do. Are you the alpha and the beginner? Are you the beginning and the end? Now I will say I talk, man, you will do. You will know the change. You be God. It's only God that cannot change. Nothing changed God, nothing the move God. He has no destroy it. That is so slow. And they signed the decree. Everybody should come and worship image. And these three people for the stand. They stand still. That they told the king, if our God is not able to answer us. Whether our God answer us or not, and that God will proceed to what? Are we here? Yes. I want, I want to let's 
blessing for me. By that God, you will see the made up my mind to serve this great God. And they throw them into the fire. They were happy. You know, you know they go and beat and go, beat and go stress. Ah, our people would just say, they see this kind of fire, they see the dog say, and they will serve God. Ah! So they don't feel good to say, okay, who would not buy the act of the confession when you pray now? God will forgive us. Amen. Eh? And God appears in the fire. That is the reason to prove to them that they serve God. They prove to the whole region that they serve what? God. That they serve God. What is the proof in your life that you are serving God? Ah, this is not self No, this is no, this is fully me. That is for this world. Problem like this. Problem. Who told you you have problem? Do you have, when you get another person, you say you get problem. You don't have problem. It's just that you don't allow, allow God to take over. You don't release it to God. When you release it to God, there will be a divine element. Prove to the world that you are serving the living God. Serve God for who He is. And then throw them into the fire. Were they burned? No. Were they burned? No. It was the bands they used to burn in that was burned. Any band of the evil one was the boss of the life in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. It was that band that was born. And they were delivered. Those people who threw them into the fire, they were more than the bond. Egyptian that won't, don't want you to get your promised land must be burnt by fire in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And if the people want to burn, whosoever dig a pit, the Bible says, is that person that will do what? Whosoever dig a pit, whosoever, is that person that will fall inside that pit? Those people that throw them inside the fire. It was them and their family that were destroyed at the fire. It was them that were born. And people that were thrown inside the fire were not what? Born. The divine evidence was being proved in their life. You cannot serve God and go empty hands. You cannot serve God and go in vain. The only thing you have to do is that God should open your eyes to see the unseen. He said, Call upon me, and I will answer, I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. How many times have you called upon God? And what has God shown you? If God has not shown you something, you should have not called upon him. When you call upon him, he said he will show you. Just call upon him. It's a God that never fails. Children, which I can identify, who was thrown into the fire, they were not born by the fire. The first man was there, I was the fourth man, Jesus. Jesus delivered them from all their troubles. I said, I will be delivered from all troubles in the name of Jesus. Yeah. He delivered them from all their troubles. And those people who thought that, and then, that was the God told them, who was the God told them, and there were the people that were thrown into the fire, and the fire comes in the same fire. The same fire that shed that mission and had been able to enter that was not born. They themselves were born to ashes. There's nothing you can think of that is upon this earth that is bigger than God. There's no situation or no problem. You think that the nine of whom I don't finish. I, me, I hate that language. 
point there. I don't finish you. Finish for what now? Who finish you? Finish for what? I won't finish you. Who finish you? Why you don't make make God finish the good work where you get for you? You can't allow them to finish you. Shame. It means you don't know the God who is that. If you know the God who is that, you prove it. Shake your finish and I beg you to prove the God who they serve. And the God and their happiness make the whole region to come and serve God. That is good words, evidence. All the reason that was to bow down for the image, is that they bow down to the image, what happened? They begin to bow down to God, the creator of the heavens and earth. What is your life frustrating to people? Is it serving God or you are driving people out of God? When you drive a person from church, where do they drive a person from? Drive a person from church. Where you drive a person, your character is not you drive a person go go, but your character drive a person from church. Where you see the drive a person, and we go be happy with you. Check that mission that I have been able. This is how we have to drive the people from the land. They brought the people to God, and these people they serve God instead of serving that image. Some of our life. They will say, hmm, he said I will go to church. You cannot go to church and call of God because of your character, your behavior. I shall speak louder than voice. Even though you know that you have a good push, your life will push. There's a good that will say that church will be good. I will do that church. That church will be good. I will do that church. Well, oh, that's what that person will do. I know they will do it. What's your life frustrating? Shall I have to be sharp and belly with their life frustrates good instead of evil? And all the region begin to serve good. What of Daniel? In the book of Daniel chapter 6. Let's open our Bible first to first Daniel chapter 20. Somebody should just read for you. And as you are reading, please pay attention. Daniel chapter 3. Are we there? Daniel chapter 3. The first thing that should read for me is. Let's have the mic as you read you. Who is reading? Daniel chapter 3. Are we there? Yes, ma'am. Somebody can read for me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me verse 1. That was says. Nebuchadnezzar the king made an image of gold whose height was three score cubits and the breadth thereof six cubits and he set it up in the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. Verse 2. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king set to gather together the princes, the governors, the captains, the judges and treasurers, the council of the sheriffs and all the royal of the princes to come to the dedication of the image which Nebuchadnezzar the king has set up. Let's see it. Then the prince, the governor, the captain, the judges, the judges, and the council of the sheriffs, and all the rulers of the provinces were gathered together. Also, I have listed in the dedication of the image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. He stood before the image that Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Verse 4. Then Anherod cried aloud to you, it is commanded, O people, nations and languages. Verse 5. That at what time ye hear the sound of the bonnet, flute, harp, sambut, samstri, shima, and all kinds of music, they fall down and worship the holy image that Nebuchadnezzar the king has set up. I set up. The seas are also fallen not down on the worship it. Shall the same hour be cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace? Verse 7. Therefore, at that time, when all the people heard the sound of the bonnet, flute, harp, sambut, samstri, and all kinds of music, all the people, the nations, and the languages fell down. And worship the holy image that Nebuchadnezzar the king has set up. Verse 8. Therefore, at that time, certain chariots came there and accused the Jews. Verse 9. They spake and said to the king, Nebuchadnezzar, O king, live forever. Verse 10. O thou, O king, has made a decree that every man that shall hear the sound of honor, truth, have, some God, 
Santi and Dusima, and all kind of music, Shapon and I worship with good image, 11, who so fall it not down and worship it, that they should be tied to the midst of the body of the corners. Verse 12, and there are certain Jews whom thou hast set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shedrach, Misha, and Abednego. These men, O king, have not regarded thee. They said not thy gods, nor worship the body image which thou hast set up. Verse 13, then Nebuchadnezzar, in his rage and fury, commanded to bring Shadrach, Misha, and Abednego. That they brought these men before the king. Verse 14. Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Misha, and Abednego, do not serve ye my gods, nor worship the great image which I have set up? Verse 15. Now, if they be ready that at what time they hear the sound of the corner of truth, ah, some God, some tree, and do see my own kind of music, they put out what the image which I have made. Well, but if you worship God, they shall be cast. He said, "Our oh, in the midst of the holy holies, and who is that God that delivered thee out of my hands? Who is the God that will deliver thee out of my hand? See this one. Right on. Go on. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, "O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not here to answer thee in this matter. Verse seventeen. If it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the dead, from the body of the holies." And will deliver us out of their hands, O King. Verse 18. But if not, be it so unto thee, O King. King, we... you know this one, no? we will not serve this body image. But also that God, nor worship the body image without our set up. Verse 19. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, and, and the form of his visage was changed in the shed of the Americans, therefore the spirit, and commanded that they should be the furnace one seven times more. How many times more? Seven times. And it was wood to be heated. Verse 20. And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to ban Shepherd with Abel Ego. And the kind of the body shed for the 21. That these men were bound with their coats, their horses, and their hearts, and their other garments, and they cast the beast of the early shepherd for this. 22. Therefore, for the king's commandment was urgent, and the furnace exceeding hot, the flame of the fire slew those men. And took Shadrach, Mishnah, and Abednego. Verse 23. Then these three men, Shadrach, Mishnah, and Abednego, fell down into the midst, into the, fell down bound into the midst of the burning furnace. Verse 24. Then the Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was astonished and rose up in the hill and spake and said unto his counselors, May God be cast three men bound into the midst of this fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. They answered and said, No, I see four men walking, I see four men loose. Walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no heart. Every evil rope be loose in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Every evil rope be loose in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And the fourth of the fourth is like the Son of God. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the morning fairy corn and spake and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, ye son of the most high God, come forth and come hither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth out of the midst of the fire. Verse 37. The princes, governors, and captains, and the kings, and kings, counselors, being gathered together, saw these men upon whom, whose bodies, upon whose bodies the fire had no power, nor was a hair of their head saved. Every evil plan of the enemy shall have no power over you in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Neither will their coats change, nor the smell of fire and pass on them. Verse 28. Then Nebuchadnezzar speak and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and delivered his servant and trusted in him, and I changed the king's word, and he had a body that they might not. Say. Your enemy will follow you to serve your God. Amen. The king said, Blessed be the God of who? Shadrach. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The first time, he was the one that cast them to the fire. But this time now, who is following them to serve God? Me. The king. Hallelujah. Your enemy will come and give thanks for your life in the name of Jesus. Come and give thanks in the name of Jesus. Go on. That they might not serve nor worship any God, they may serve their own God. Therefore, I make a decree that every people, nation, and language, we speak anything and means against the God of Shedrach, Misha, and Abednego. Against the God of Shedrach and Abednego. Everyone who is speaking against your God, the Lord will put the strong and mighty, they and they will come and join you for 
thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Shall be cut in pieces and the houses shall be made a dunghill. Hallelujah. Because there is no other God that can deliver after this source. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. After you must pass through that test, there is promotion for you. Yeah. There is promotion for you. Yeah. There is promotion for you. Yeah. There is another fight for you. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, friend. Yeah. And your God will be exalted. Yeah. And all men that weakness and hardness will be drawn to the Lord. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, friend. Yeah. Let's read the, the same Daniel chapter 6. Daniel chapter 6. Verse 1, we are still reading the book Daniel chapter 6. Praise the Lord. Daniel 6, verse 1. The Bible says, If Prince Daniel to set over the kingdom and 120 princes, we should be over the whole kingdom. Verse 2. And over these three princes, of whom Daniel was first, that the princes might give account unto them, and the king should have no damage. Verse 3. Then this Daniel was prepared above the presence of princes, because an excellent spirit was in him, and the king thought to set him over the whole realm. Verse 4. Then the president and princes sought to find occasion against Daniel according to the, against Daniel concerning the kingdom, but they could find no occasion, no fault. For as much as he was faithful, neither was there any error or fault found in him. Verse 5. No fault shall be found in you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Even though they find you to be opposing, no fault shall be found in you in the name of Jesus. Amen. But rather they will see an excellent spirit. The spirit of the body in you, an excellent spirit will be found in you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Five. Then said this man, we shall not find any occasion against this Daniel, except we find it against him concerning the law of his God. Verse 6. Then this president and princess assembled together to the king and said, Thus unto him, King Darius, sleep forever. Verse 7. All the presidents all the presidents of the kingdom, the governors and the princes and the counselors, and the captains have considered together to establish a royal statue and to make a firm decree that whosoever shall not ask the petition of any god or man for thirty days, save of thee, O king, he shall be cast into the den of lions. Verse 8, now O king established the decree, signed the writing that it might not change, that it, that it might be not changed. Mm -hmm. And according to the law of the Medes and Persians, with alternate not. Therefore, King Darius signed the writing and the decree. Verse mm -hmm. 10, and when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went to his house, and his windows being opened in his chamber towards Jerusalem, he knelt upon his knees three times a day, prayed and gave thanks before his God, as he did at all times. Verse 11, then this man assembled and found them in prayer, making the petition before his God. Verse 12, then they came near and spake before the king concerning the king's decree. How has thou not signed a decree that every man that shall have the petition of any God or man within 30 days, save of thee, O king, shall be cast into the den of lions? The king answered and said, The thing is true, according to the law of the medicine and patience, patience which uttereth not. Verse 13, then answered they and said before the king that Daniel. Which is of the children of the captive of Judah, he guided not the, the captivity, the, the bound child. It's not the king's son, the bound child. He's praying, you know, come and say, oh, king, you know, come, oh, then what happened? Go on. The guided not, the guided not the king, nor the decree that thou hast signed, but make his petition three times a day. Then the king, when he heard these words, was so the spirit of death, and set his house on that, and set his heart on that to deliver him. And he labored to the going down of the sword to deliver him. Verse 15. Then these men assembled unto the king and said unto the king, King, I said unto the king, Know, O king, that the law of Medes and Persians is that no decree or statute which the king established may be changed. Verse 16. Then the king commanded that, the king commanded, and they brought Daniel and cast him to the den of lions. Now the king speak and said unto Daniel, Thy God will thou serve Continually. Amen. God will you we continually deliver you in the name of Jesus. Amen. The God who will ever deliver everything in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Verse 17. And the stone was brought and laid upon the mount of the den. And the king said it with his own signet, and with the signet of his lords, that the purpose might not be changed for them than yet. But it is that the king went to his palace and passed the night fasting, neither were instruments. Hey, the king could not sleep. The king was fasting throughout 
bonus. Nada, no music, no noise, everywhere like a cemetery. Was waiting to hear the voice of uh, Daniel in the lion's den to shout, Wow, I'm dead. But God turned him around. So shall the Lord turn the enemy's plans around for our good in the name of Jesus. Amen. And his sleep went from him. Verse 19. Then the king arose very early in the morning and went in haste unto the den of lions. Verse 20. And he came to the den and he cried with him. Lamentable voice unto Daniel, and the king spake and said to Daniel, O Daniel, thou art of the living God, is thy God whom thou servest continually able to deliver thee from the lions? 21. Then said Daniel unto the king, O king, live forever. My God has sent his angel and has shut the lions' mouth, that they have not hurt me, but as much as before him, in order to be found in me, and also before thee, O king, have I done no hurt. Verse 23. Then was the king exceeding. Glad for him. Amen. And commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den, and no man of God was found upon him because mm -hmm. he lay in his God. Verse 24. And the king commanded, and he brought those men which had accused Daniel, mm -hmm. and he called them to the den of lions. Then their children, their wives, and their and the lions had the mastery of them, and break all their bones in pieces or ever. They came at the bottom of the den. Verse 25. The then King Daniel wrote unto all people, nations and language, and languages that were in all the earth. Peace be multiplied unto thee. I make a decree that in every dominion of my kingdom, men tremble and fear for the God of Daniel, for he is the living God and steadfast forever. And his kingdom, that which shall not be destroyed, and his dominion shall be shall be evil unto the end. Verse 27. He delivered and rescued. And he worked signs and wonders in heaven and in earth. Who had delivered Daniel from the power of the lions? 28. So this Daniel prospered in the reign of Darius and in the reign of Cyrus. Hallelujah! Amen. In the midst of the enemy, you shall prosper. Amen. The Lord will have your neck with oil, and your mouth will run over. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who? 
You want in our market, whether you want to buy one million naira, they don't care. But we Christians, when we just see small customer, we we'll go open shop. Shop one we'll don't close, so we won't go church. We we'll go open and we give the same. How do you serve your God? How do you serve this God? There was one woman that came to my shop one day, said, Father, give me on right class day, please, I beg now. Uh, because of this right class, I did not go to church, I want to grab it, my food is sweet. I said, Madam, I cannot open this shop. As you see me, I am late for Wednesday service. Tell me, I am going to the church. If you, I, I promise you that if I come back from church, I will serve for you. But if you cannot wait, bye bye. Then I told her, I see this most men now that are beside us now. If you time for prayer, to come and pray. If you say that you should serve for you, don't serve for me. Say no. I say, hey, so don't waste my time. I'm going. In our presence, I was standing up very easily, off and on. The next day she came, and I said, the pastor did and I said, no problem. Who do you know that? I will see seven. The God whom I serve will see three customers. But when you say, well, no, I will say, be wise as serpent and harmless as dough. If any of you have small business, we will interpret that business to God. And the God who has given you the bread you are preaching, and you are not paying for it. This bread you are breaking now, you are not paying for it. Don't pay that pay whether you have less. <laughs> or this generator by who is the now. Don't buy it for inside. Just come and own the generator, whether it's work. The God who is giving you the free air you are breathing, you are not paying for it. Only just to start it. Wednesday, you will come here, you don't say anything. You have Monday, Tuesday. Then Wednesday, why not? Only once a week oh, in the service, not every day service now. Since we open this place, do we have any other service? No. Only Wednesday. Wednesday service. So for God, we don't see that. Oh, let me come once in a month, sir. No good day, Dan. Oh, two times in a month. Mm -hmm. So every Wednesday, let me come. Mm -hmm. Just, ah, don't need to go to the service. Proof, proof to God that you are serving him. And then God will put the self in your life that you are serving him. Serve God. Serve God with all your mind, with all your strength, with all your soul. Shall that you shall and have any today? Serve God. And it's told him that we will not answer you in this matter. It's only our God that will answer you. And did God answer them? Yes. Did God answer them? Yes, Mark. That they were thrown into the lion, they were not eaten up by the lion. Yes. If by fear you say, no, uh, I will buy that. Just let the person. And God, you understand that. After that, they did me that. They stood on their hands. They stood and God stands for them. My brother, my sister, stand for God. God will stand for you. Hallelujah. Let's rise on our feet. As we begin to pray, the world will have today. Just pray that God will give you the grace.